What up YouTube, Nathan Heights here, and I apologize for the short absence, it's been about a week and a half. I was very sick, I wasn't feeling up to making videos, and usually I advocate doing things even though you don't feel like it, but dude, I was really fucking sick. I, I needed a lot of time to sleep and rest, especially with my graveyard work schedule. It's kind of hard to heal when you don't sleep, right? So. That's been my life for the last week and a half, but I'm back and I'm going to be giving you guys at least two videos a week for the next two weeks until school starts again and then we'll figure it out from there, okay guys? So, today what I want to show you guys is basically my, I want to explain to you guys how I study the basic breakdown of my language learning studies every day, right? Because I saw a video recently of someone criticizing me, basically talking about, you know, how my results are my results because I don't have a job, because I don't, I don't work that much, and, you know, I have special circumstances. And the fact of the matter is, I work full-time, right? I have a child, I go to school full-time, and I get straight A's, okay? So, I'm pretty sure not too many people can say that they do all of that. Right? I mean, literally straight A's, like no bullshit, since I've been back, yeah, I, you guys have seen the video, right? So, anyways, this video is going to break some of those ideas or thoughts that some of you might have about the way I study, and let's just get right into it, okay? So, first things first, guys, my day starts at midnight, that's when I wake up and I go to work. I work until about 8 a.m., I take a nap until about, I don't know, 9.30 when I pick up my daughter, or if I don't pick up my daughter that day, I'll nap until, I don't know, 1. And then I'll go about the rest of my day, I'll, and I'll come back home around 7 p.m., try to nap until 11, right? So I take two naps throughout the day. And I do find study time while at work. I work a graveyard position at a rehab, so there tends to be at least two, three hours of downtime. Sometimes there's not when there's a lot of intakes and things of that nature, but for the most part, there is. So I utilize this time rather than, you know, watching YouTube or doing whatever the fuck. I use this time to study, right? And what, have I, what I've found is that an hour of focus study will give you more than you know, five hours or more of unfocused study. So when you study, you want to make sure that you have 100% focus on whatever the fuck you're doing. You don't want to be on your phone. You don't want to be on YouTube. You don't want to be on Facebook. In fact, I recently de deleted my Facebook. I had like three Facebooks. I deleted all of them just to give me more time. I came to the conclusion that it wasn't really fucking necessary to, for me to have a Facebook. So I deleted them, right? So I wake up at midnight. And the first thing I do is I come over to my Lightner boxes. Now, if you don't know what a Lightner box is, you can watch another video on my channel, which is called Lightner Box, the greatest home repetitions, home space repetition system. I think that's what it's called, but it's a re recent video, so just uh, look back a little bit, go search my videos. And basically what it is is a box with flashcards in it and a game schedule, which tells you which flashcards to review on that day. If you get some right, they move to another section of the box and if you guess them wrong they move back to the beginning guess them right seven times and they get out of the box and that basically ensures that you'll memorize them for a year right or they'll they or they might never escape your mind it's basically it's based off of science a german psychologist came up with this method and it's known to work it's what all spaced repetition systems are based off of this is just the physical the manual just the hands-on version which i thoroughly enjoy more so let's take a look at that so this is it guys, there's the schedules, this is my Tagalog box, and this is my Spanish box. I just started the Spanish one before I was only reading and, you know, taking notes and reading and learning through context. I have a video on that, you guys can check that out too. As you can see, I've only been doing it for, I don't know, five days. And this one here, I've been doing for 22 days. Following these schedules, right? Right now I have about 500 Tagalog words in here. And in the Spanish, I maybe have 50 because it just started. And I basically do whatever the schedule says first thing. So if it says review flashcards three and one, I'll do that, right? Or two and one, I'll do that. So I'll quickly go through them. Usually it's no more than, you know, 10, 15 flashcards, no, and, or I'm sorry, it's between 15 and 50 flashcards. And I go through them quickly because if I don't know them, then they just go back to the beginning of the box, right? So I don't have to sit there and think about it for too long. And if they go to the beginning of the box, I review them that day and then move them to the next section. I suggest everybody look into this. It's awesome, okay? So what I do is I 
Memorize about 10 words, sometimes 15, of each of those languages, and that is basically my word progress for the day. So I'm taking it slow and steady, but I've found that slow and steady can be better at times. It really depends how close the language is to your native language, and if you're studying two languages at once, it's hard to really, you know, fast track it like I did originally with Spanish. So. I'm going the patient route with this. So I just suggest everybody gets a Lightner box or a space repetition system and works on it that way, okay? After I do that, I take the flashcards that I need to be reviewing for the day to work and I'll review them periodically throughout the night and the day. I maybe review each stack 10 times, which doesn't take more than 30 seconds each time. So it's very easy. There's no excuse to not be learning at least 10, 20 words a day in whatever language you desire. It's that simple, guys. Think about it. In a month, how many words is that? 600? Come on, guys. In, in a year, you can already have the vocabulary necessary for fluency, or at least the basic fluency, and not in that abstract sense. I'm talking about, like, scientifically, the, the scientifically proven amount of words needed to have basic conversations and to understand people in day-to-day -day life, right? So that's that. After I do that, I get to work, I do my work activities, and as soon as I get downtime, I study. I found that focusing is the number one factor in the amount of progress you're going to make in the shortest amount of time. So I make sure to shut off all YouTube, all of that shit and strictly focus on my grammar book. Now, this is the book that I'm using right now. And I basically memorize every word, every sentence structure, and I go through it and I use this, right? I do an hour of this. And what I do is I write down every story, as you can see, or let me find the section. They come with stories that you can rewrite. A lot of it here is grammar, let me see. Right, so I'll rewrite these sections. Kumusta alamu ba na my escuela han nang sayao? You know, whatever. I wasn't reading it that good, but that's it. And I'll rewrite every sentence and section like this slowly, and I'll read it slowly, and I'll do that. Focus, it doesn't take very long. I'll do that for every chapter. And then on top of that, I'll go through it and I'll type up notes on all the grammar. And what these grammar notes have done for me is they have allowed me to create a cheat sheet for this book. So within 80 to 120 pages of textbook, I've broken it down to maybe 10 pages of grammar, which covers all the grammar up to that point. So I get rid of a lot of the noise, and every day I you know, at least read through half of it once, right? Just to remind me of the sentence structures and things of that nature. After I finish about an hour of that, which I can usually do at work. I continue reviewing those flashcards and then I move on to the audio. And right now I'm working on Pimsleur. I'm pretty much done with it, but I've literally listened to it like four or five times, but I'm just continuing to listen to it because it's basic and I wanna make sure that I get down the basics before moving on. I feel like the first study le lessons of Pimsleur is a good start if I can get it all down 100% or at least like 95%. So once I get bored of that, and probably in the next two weeks, I'll switch over to something on YouTube, such as child's, you know, children's stories in Tagalog, and I'll start listening to that for about an hour a day. And what I do then is I move on to Spanish. That's basically it for the day when it comes to Tagalog, and then I move on to Spanish, right? And the reason I don't study back and forth is because you want your mind to focus on one language. So I make sure I finish Tagalog, or I finish Spanish before moving on, right? And I always, always, always do the grammar and reading portions before moving on to the, you know, to the next activity because, as I said, I start at midnight and the, the further into the night we get, the tired, the more tired I'm going to be and reading and things of that nature are difficult when you're tired, so I get that done first, right? Knowing this. And this is something that I came up through experience. So once I do that, I move on to audio and I listen to maybe an hour of Pimsleur. Sometimes I don't get to finish it, sometimes I do. And when I do, it's a good night. When I don't, I just do it later, right? Because I'm going to go to sleep, wake up at, you know, 10 or 2, and I'll have the whole day to still listen to audios, whether I'm driving, whatever the fuck, right? So after I've finished that, then I'll move on to Spanish, where I'll do, you know, an, an hour of listening, maybe 20 minutes of reading when I, you know, feel up to it, when I don't feel as tired. And this can always be done through Spanish radio 
And I always, always, always use Spanish as much as I can whenever I have the opportunity. I have a Spanish-speaking girlfriend, fiancé, so I spend that time with her trying to speak Spanish. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. That's that. But that's basically how I study every day. It comes down to at least three hours of study a day, sometimes four or five, and on a good day, even six or seven. It really depends on my motivation for that day as well. So. The fact of the matter is, I know I'm going to get a lot of people commenting or messaging me or thinking even that my circumstances are special. I've even seen a video on Lightspeed Spanish's channel where they criticize me or Gordon criticizes me. It was brought to my attention by one of my subscribers. They don't mention my name, but you, you, if you see the video, you know they're talking about me. And it was made about a year ago. I just never saw it, so I'll just speak about it now since I just saw it last week. And he's basically telling his followers that you shouldn't think that you can learn Spanish in six months to a year because you, you know, everybody's circumstance is different. I'm special. I wasn't working this, that, and the other. All bullshit because even though, yeah, at the time I wasn't working, I'm working full time now and I'm getting straight A's, going to school full time now. Not even just full time, like 15, 16 units a semester, okay? That's like an extra class over full time. And I have a daughter who I have part time, right? I have her half the time. So, what I want you guys to keep in mind is that your own limiting beliefs is what's going to hold you back here. If you want to think like Gordon does, with all due respect, go ahead. Your progress will be slower. And really, my channel isn't necessarily for the people who think like Gordon does. I don't want people who make excuses, right? Because these are the same people who are going to tell me that my methods don't work when the fact of the matter is they do. The thing that's not working is you. So work harder, you want results like me, you gotta work like me. And I'm not saying that I'm the master or the best, but I'm saying that I am happy with my progress and I want you guys to be happy with your progress too. So anyways, I hope this video helped. With that being said, sorry once again for that absence of a week and a half. I start school in two weeks, so in the next two weeks I'm really gonna buckle down and study Tagalog so I can bring you that video. Subscribe. Nos vemos pronto. Nos serajen en sus estudios. Y los amo. Cuídase, paz.